Well, I call it just kind of being in the zone. But like, even life functions became unimportant. Eating, sleeping, it was almost like my body became a vehicle and I was the pilot inside of it and I was gonna drive that thing to the wheels fell off, you know? My whole life since I was a little kid, I really wanted to make a difference in this world with my art. And to be 30 years old and feel extremely young and inexperienced and with everything still to learn, to be on 42nd Street with 44 pieces and, and, and what is effectively a retrospective exhibition, it's pretty cool. It's like you just kind of take a pause and step back and realize that there's a lot of power in my paint right now. There's a lot of power in my brush right now. I've worked so hard to get a platform that people care and want to know what the next work off my easel is. I'm, I'm more aware than ever of what that power holds and what the responsi responsibility is with it. So I think the coolest part is kind of feeling like the whole world is at your fingertips in the sense that here I am, I work to get it, and there's a supreme confidence inside that knows that what's coming next or what, what remains inside of me that hasn't been produced yet, to me, is going to be on a whole new level than what I've already done. I'm on a long journey and my first half could not have been better, so I think that where I stand now is just like kind of kind of really exciting to look at what the future holds and the, and the mystery of it. I just feel an obligation to the people who have shown me so much support to continue to not only hit the bar but to raise the bar. I don't paint for the art world and the headlines that they're giving me. I don't paint for the logos at the top of the webpage. I paint for us in a collective sense. I paint from what life was like for me, what life is like for my friends. Uh, I think the artist's job is to be the medium. You're the filter. And you've been given a talent to process and create a collective reality for me visually. My overriding goal is to focus on something that is a positive message. And even sometimes there's positivity in the negative, but just trying to shed light in places that I feel like have been neglected or topics that need to be tackled in an artistic way. The other responsibility as the artist is to be able to filter out that pressure and to find the purity of the creativity. You know, if I think too much about it, then I've already outthunk myself from a great composition. You gotta remain free. You gotta let go of all those forces that are pulling on your creativity and block it out and just make art. Opening night at this place, I gave a speech and in the speech I said, if you cut me open, acrylic paint comes out. And there could not be a truer statement or concept. It's wonderful to be here in New York City and to have an exciting art career happening in the present moment. But if I was in backwoods Louisiana with my dog, I'd still be painting in the cabin with 44 words. It just probably wouldn't be called BK Levels. It'd be, you know, back to our art. I don't ever want to change or feel like those forces or, or this success pulls on what got me here, you know? Um, I think I'm aware of it. I'm learning every day how to move in it. But I'm not scared of it and I'm not uh, deterred from staying true to me.